How does a baby develop the capacity to move, reason, and remember when it started as a single cell? A unique human individual has formed a conception as a single cell. That cell begins to divide into many other cells. Within three weeks after conception, before many women even realize that they are pregnant, chemical messages tell some of the new cells to become the building blocks for the whole human brain. By four weeks after conception, the brain has recognizable structures. And by five weeks after conception, the unborn starts moving spontaneously, suggesting that there are connections between the basic cells of the brain, called neurons, and muscles. In the following weeks, brain development really takes off. At six weeks after conception, the forebrain, responsible for perceiving, thinking, deciding, and choosing, doubles in a matter of three days. Neurons are formed at the astonishing rate of 250,000 per minute from seven weeks to 28 weeks after conception. Ultrasounds reveal that the fetus has a preference for one hand over the other, only seven weeks after conception. Fetuses can also learn. In fact, a newborn can recognize a story or a song that it heard in the womb around 29 weeks after conception. That's about 10 weeks before birth. This indicates that these fetuses have a surprising capacity for memory. Experiences in the womb will shape an infant's sensations. The fetus has been listening to his mother and tasting the amniotic fluid, so the newborn can recognize his mother by the sound of her voice or the smell of her breast milk. Brain development is a continuous process. This process occurs flawlessly in almost every pregnancy and occurs in a matter of months, and then it continues over the course of years following birth. The brain is not fully developed at birth and doesn't stop maturing until age 25. There is no neurological milestone at which a fetus suddenly becomes conscious, so it is best to protect the unborn from conception until birth.